Well, the House of Representatives today voted to pass Kate's Law. It's a bill that, if enacted, would stiffen penalties for deported illegal aliens who re-enter the United States, as so many do. The House also passed a bill that would cut off federal grants to sanctuary cities. Marion Mendoza is the mother of Sergeant Brandon Mendoza, who's a police officer killed by a previously deported illegal alien. She joins us tonight. Marion, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Does this bill do what you want it to do? It's uh, beginning and, and absolutely more, more light needs to be shed on this problem in our country. And I think more Americans need to be educated of what's really happening um, behind the scenes. Politicians lie. Mainstream media does not give the cor correct statistics of what's happening to American citizens in our country. What do the politicians lie about? They lie about the fact that people like myself are anti-immigrants. Um, which is the furthest thing from the truth. I am anti-illegal alien criminals in our country. Yes. I'm tired of our politicians. I don't know when the turn happened in this country of when politicians are now protecting illegal criminals in our country more than they're protecting you and I. So the man who killed your son had been deported before? He had been deported. He had been convicted of crimes in the state of Colorado. He didn't show up for his court date. He was on the run, was caught at the border in 2012, taken back up to Colorado. The court showed him leniency and let him go, and, you know, four, 12 years later, he killed my son. So he was not deported the second time? No, he was not. Even though he was never in the country illegally? Correct. Huh. So this is what's so maddening to me, and the leniency that our court sh systems are showing criminal, um, illegal criminals, most of the time their felonies are reduced to misdemeanors. They spend half the time in jail that you or I would for the same crimes that they commit. They are released back out onto our streets. They run to sanctuary cities because they know that they're protected. Um, it's time that our politicians and that the American public is aware of the fact what's happening in our court systems, what our politicians are hiding, and we are here to be truth tellers. We've started AVIAC.US. It's Advocates for Victims of Illegal Alien Crime. We want to bring to light not only the murders of Americans, but people who are affected by rape, assault, identity theft. We want Americans to come out of the shadows. And, and let their fellow Americans know what's happening to them. Well, you've, you've, you've begun that. So thank you very much, Mary, for joining us tonight.